Hey, what is up, guys? Renstax TV here, and so it's been a while, I know, and uh, I have now another uh, new video for you. So this is with regard to the cheese paste 1.1.3, as I promised. So again, um, the the idea here is just to give you the the version of cheese paste, which would you know not gonna ruin your experience and uh, perhaps just gonna give you a little to no you know uh, ads popping up in your head anyways guys so this is the file that I have here for you um, it's called gspace 1.1.3 mod so it's a zip file and I'll link this down below the description of this video so you can download this and uh, just to let you know, this consists of four items. Um, three are the main items that we'll be using. Uh, the fourth one is the push notification app. Just, you know, if you need it. And uh, I'll explain later as well, okay? But um, the first thing you need to do is to download the zip file. And then, as usual, just extract it to whatever location you wanted to but mine I'll just use the current location which would be still under the downloads uh, folder then it will go here which I have these uh, four um, items downloaded so the first thing to do here is just make sure to download shortcut maker first okay so it's totally up to you you can do this later but mine uh, in this video, I'll do it the first so it could get um, installed right away. You don't need to open it right away, so just click on done after that. And then the second thing to do is the cheese space itself. So, again, this is 1.1.3, just install it normally. And then this time um, you can just say done and uh, now you could either just you know open up cheese space right away and then set up your play store by logging in and all that but in my case here what I'm gonna do is to show you how to create the shortcut so here I'm gonna open shortcut maker that we just installed say got it and then on the upper right hand I mean down below um, you, you see here the history option okay just click on it and then on the upper right hand there's a three dot menu there just click on restore and if you don't have the uh, the you know the the file yet listed just make sure to go to your downloads folder or, or wherever the uh, the downloaded folder that we just uh, extracted so just look for that folder in my case this is the one that I got here where I have this four items right so in this case what we need to restore is the one that says playstore.smf so click on it and then you would see under your history that this play store uh, option is now visible then you can just click on this one all right and down at the bottom right hand you will have this create shortcut button so click on shortcut or create a shortcut say add and then you will have the play store icon here okay so again it's totally up to you uh, you can do this at the last part or just follow this uh, steps along that I'm showing you it would be much easier for you as well okay so again, you just need to click on Shortcut Maker app, go to the uh, history option here, and then if you don't have if you don't have this yet, just click on the upper right hand, click Restore, find the file that say Placer.smf, the one that I included in this files that I'm giving you, then just click on it and say Create Shortcut. Then you will have the shortcut here on your screen. Alright, so once you have that shortcut um, 
or Play Store, just click on it. Just say allow. Allow to everything. Okay. Once one step at a time because you will also get this uh, prompt here. You should say allow all the time. So if you if you're clicking really fast, you might deny it. So make sure you're clicking on it. You know, slow and uh, you know, surely but I mean slowly but surely. That's it. So allow this one. Permit. If you get this, just say turn on. That's fine. Say continue. It's gonna load up. Just wait for it. And you will have this. So go back to Play Store app or shortcut and you will will have the sign in option so notice as well for the pop-up message here that would say what device um, or the virtual device that you will get in this case it shows honor 8x so if you're planning to use Netflix you know inside this environment make sure that you will have the uh, the, the model that would appear here that should say like Mate 30, uh, you know, Mate 30, Mate 30 Pro, Mate 20 Pro, those devices which previously has, you know, on native Google supported. So in this case, I'm sure 8X, based on my previous experience, it doesn't do that. So what I'm gonna do, if you're not getting the, the right device here, okay? So what you need to do is just to either uninstall and reinstall GSpace, but in my case, it much e it would be much easier if you just go to the settings, go to apps, okay, and then look for GSpace. So what we're we're going to do here is just to uh, reset or you know uh, go to storage, just clear cache, clear data that's it so you will have the chance again to uh, launch launch it again so just do the same thing allow the permissions turn on continue until you reach the part again wherein you could sign into the Play Store and uh, you'd, you'd see the device the virtual device it will give you and then just repeat the process if you're still not able to get the, the right one. So I'm gonna show you here. Okay, so it's gonna give me the sign in option now. So I'll just click on here. So this time I got the P30, yeah, P30 option. Uh, P30 has native Google supported on there, right? So I'm gonna stop here and just log in. and we're in all right so the first thing that, that I usually do here once I reach this part is to install the uh, play services info so the first one the, the one that says update just install that one just like that and open it then click on play store here and say update so this is just to first you know um, ensure you got the updated version of the uh, Google Play services so pretty much just make sure you're updated right so the, that's what I usually do you don't really have to do this if you don't want it right so that's totally up to you as well but I'm just showing you what I'm doing on my end okay so I got that updated and then also I go back to my Play Store and then 
just wait for the ad to come off and then you go to the settings option and under play store version just click it once then you will have this uh, pop up that would say uh, a newer version of it will get installed and then just say okay so there you go guys so that's that's definitely the uh, the main steps to have the the G Space 1.1.3 installed properly on your phone with the Play Store shortcut. So then you can just uh, use the shortcut for Play Store to open up the, the Play Store app or main screen to install your applications from here. Okay. So I would also create uh, a different video that would uh, show you, um, you know, options. I mean, some some things that I have noticed using this new version. So you would have, you know, some information or some idea about what to expect using this version here. Okay. So again, um, as of uh, today. Um, August 16, 2021. This is the newest version. Uh, this is the G Space 1.1.3. Okay, so pretty much that's it for this video. And again, um, just uh, wait for my uh, next video that would give you some uh, idea about um, what to expect on here. All right. So there you go guys, I hope uh, you find this video helpful and for those who are new here in my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell or turn on the notification bell to get updated with my new videos that would be uploaded uh, soon. Alright guys, uh, once again, thank you very much for supporting my channel and thanks for watching this video and see you on my next one. Peace. Hello my friends, Lorenz Dags TV here and if you like my video, please smash that like button, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your help. Here's how you do it. Boom. Bada bim bada boom. And if you are on your phone, here's how you do it. Boom. Bada bim bada boom. Thank you and see ya in my next videos. Peace.